Hey guys, how you doing? My name is TJ, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you the difference between the front end and the back end, and making sure you guys understand how those two work together to create web applications. Now, before I start, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and make sure that you comment down below any questions that you might have as I'm explaining these topics to you. Now, anytime someone is talking about the front end, they are referring to everything that you see when you go to a website, from the images you're looking at, the text you're reading, the links you're clicking, like all of that is the front end. That's why it's also called the UI, which stands for user interface, because that is what you, the user, are actually interacting with. Now, the back end is where all the data is actually stored because the back end is made up of the database, your server, and your application, like your actual app. The job of the database is to store data, right? And the job of the application is to do whatever you program the application to do. And the server, the job of the server is essentially to handle incoming requests for information and to also return a response back to whoever is making that request. So all in all, the job of the front end is to request data or information from the back end, and the job of the back end is to retrieve that data from the database and return it back to the front end so the front end can display it back to the user. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Comment below if it makes sense, and if it doesn't, comment below any questions that you have about that, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Now, when it comes to the front end, there are three main technologies that you really need to know, and that's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is the language that you use to define and create the content on your web page. So let's say that you're building a website and you want to add a button to it. You would use HTML to create that button. Now CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is the language you use to style your HTML content. So let's say that the button you created in HTML, let's say that you wanted that button to have a red background color. You would use CSS to target that button and create a CSS rule that sets the background color to red. Now, JavaScript is used to make your website interactive. So all of those pop-ups, drop-downs, and you know, pretty much all of the interactiveness of websites that you see is caused by JavaScript, right? And keep in mind, JavaScript is the only programming language out of those three that I just mentioned of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So HTML, remember, a hypertext markup language. HTML is a markup language. And CSS, cascading style sheets, CSS is a style sheet language. It's only JavaScript that's actually a programming language there. Now, also, when it comes to the front end, you have React.js. React is a front end JavaScript library that is used to build user interfaces. Now, the reason that I'm mentioning React is because when it comes to the front end, React is the main technology that as beginners, you should definitely focus on because React is what the majority of employers are going to be looking for when it comes to job applications and just open roles that they want to fill. So any type of program that you're in or if you're interested in just learning to code overall, make sure that React.js is the technology that you are going to be learning on the front end because that's what recruiters are looking for the most when it comes to the job search. Now, when it comes to the back end, that's where you pretty much see every single programming language that you've, that you've heard about from Java to Python to C, C++, all of those, like any one of those programming languages can be used on the back end. And ultimately, it pretty much just depends on the company that you're at in terms of what they are using. But when it comes to the main programming languages on the back end to focus on and just kind of where most of the demand and jobs are, uh, JavaScript and Python are the two biggest programming languages that I would definitely recommend to beginners when it comes to back end web development. Now, one thing that I want to stress is Java and JavaScript are two different things, okay? Uh, Java is typically what is taught at the university level in computer science programs, and computer science programs are hard. And a big part of that is because the programming languages that these students are using to learn computer science are not beginner-friendly programming languages. Java is not a beginner-friendly programming language. And I see a lot of beginners getting confused and not knowing that Java is different from JavaScript. And they typically start by learning Java and they just struggle. So definitely don't make that mistake. Uh, JavaScript is what you're probably looking for. Now, when it comes to the main programming languages to focus on for the backend, it's typically either between JavaScript and Python. 
Those are the two most dominant programming languages when it comes to the job market. Now, if you are interested in learning how to code, I would definitely recommend that you start out by learning the basics of front-end web development, which is just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right, so that's it. That is the difference between the front-end and the back-end. And keep in mind that those two things can work separately, and they do work separately and independent of each other. You can essentially just learn to be a front-end web developer and not really know much about how the back-end works or anything like that because all you do is make requests for information and you don't really care how the information gets to you as long as the information gets back to you. And when it comes to back-end web development, so I'm actually a back-end software engineer right now. I don't really care what the front-end looks like. Uh, my job is to just make sure that I'm returning the correct information to whoever is making the request, okay? So you can be a front-end web developer, you can be a back-end web developer, or you can be full stack, which is you essentially doing both. It's not really typical to see software engineers that do both like equally. People tend to lean one way, right? Like even me personally, I'm a full stack software engineer, but I prefer the back-end. And then you meet other engineers, they know both, but they prefer the front end. So all of that mostly depends on you. But regardless, I would always recommend that if you are interested in learning how to code, that you start out by learning the basics of front end web development, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the reason why is because of your confidence. When you are learning something as technical as software engineering, it's very important for you to protect your confidence and starting with the basics of web development will ease you into programming versus you starting out by learning a programming language first. That's like just throwing you into the fire without really much kind of background context or support as to what's going on. And that's essentially a recipe for disaster or just making things harder on yourself than they need to be. Okay. So if you haven't already, definitely make sure that you check out my coding tutorials that are on front end web development. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and those will introduce you to the basics that you need to get started. Also, I teach people how to code in my program, Roots Technology. So if you're interested in learning how to code with me as your mentor, check out the link below and get in touch with me at Roots Technology. Now, make sure you comment down below any questions that you have. And if this helped you understand the difference between front end and back end, comment down below and let me know, okay?